dan ini ya kapten meeting lor jadi tonton terus ya apa itu kata kapten meeting biar kalian paham ya jadi kapten meeting itu adalah untuk uh, apa namanya memberi informasi informasi yang penting kepada kru atau uh, ya intinya memberi informasi kepada kru gitu ya jadi misalkan ada yang promosi terus ada ada yang mendapatkan reward terus ada informasi tentang uh, kapal ini berikutnya sellingnya mau kemana terus intinya memberitahu tentang apa yang terjadi di kapal dan memberitahu apa yang selanjutnya uh, akan dilakukan gitu nah kalau kalau kalian penasaran Uh, nanti saya akan kasih lihat videonya ini kapten langsung yang ngomong lor oke okay. and now it's time for our captain Idar to start the, the captain's meeting with all the news and the exciting uh, slideshow right captain yes very good captain everybody put your hands together with captain Idar good morning everybody That's my private show, right? How does she do it? I wonder. All right, it is about one month since we spoke last time, and uh, here we go with the um, introduction here. We have, um, let's see here. Okay, welcome aboard for those of you that have returned, and uh, thank you for your service for those that is um, that are going home. All right. Newly promoted, so how many have been promoted? You turn off the light, I can't see anything. Turn off the light up there a little bit. Could you something with this one? A little bit more. More. <laughs> ah, there you are. Okay, so who has been promoted uh, recently or a few months ago? Well, don't give up, okay? Because we are building uh, new ships, <laughs> and, uh, and you know that uh, this is a fact of life. You see, if, uh, for you to get a promotion, somebody has to um, to leave. I mean, uh, by their own omission or uh, or be uh, transfer or whatever the case might be. So uh, there are definitely things on the move uh, in that department. I can assure you. Uh, we just took the, the prima out, and we. Um, And we try to uh, try. We we always um, we always fill those ships with uh, with the talent that we have on board, uh, with the fleet and around there. So uh, so as the new ships are coming out, and we're going to build six of them. Okay, so there will be uh, quite a few ships coming out, and and we need a lot of uh, uh, of all kinds of position in the uh, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, manager, supervisors, and uh, everything alike. Uh, I, I probably said this so many times before, but uh, I think it's worthwhile repeating. Um, but how this promotion has come about, because uh, that is a part of why you're here, though. I mean, you come at an entry level, and then you uh, you try to advance your uh, your standing to uh, to make more money, and so you can take care of yourself and and for your family. So uh, that's why you're here. So. But this is uh, perhaps a misconception that promotions are, are something that you get after X amount of years, but that's not the case it is though. It is uh, based on, on who shows the most talent, of course, and who shows the most commitment. That's how it happened. It doesn't matter if you've been with, uh, with the company for uh, one year, two year, three year, ten year, or whatever it might be. I, mean, I have been there for 43 years. And, I couldn't get any farther than this, so whatever we are. So, uh, but that's the way it works. So, in every every level and every department, it is based on, and uh, and of course there is something else also for those of you that work in uh, in front of the house that are, uh, that are more in contact with the with the passengers. They also write uh, common cards uh, into the company and. Uh, I mean, there's over 1,700 crew members on board, and we have uh, project appraisers and so on, and, uh, and on-the-job training and all that. But when passengers uh, start writing in, and, uh, 
and show the name still coming up time and time again. We have to take a closer look and see, well, well maybe we have overlooked somebody here. So uh, that's also one way it happens, though. Not just for uh, the one in front of the house, because the ones uh, at the back of the house are just as important, you know. I mean, you can't put a good, uh, a good presentation for it in the dining room if the, if the food comes out not uh, the way it's supposed to be. So everybody play a role here, all right? So uh, everybody is equally important from every layer of the operation. And the next one I want you to think about, uh, this is about uh, not just for leadership position, but for everybody. So here is a question for you. Which one is the most important? Motivation or discipline? I think I've talked about this before, I know, uh, before as well. So which one is it, quickly? Discipline. Which is the most important? I guess they're both important, of course, but is one more important than the other, you think? I can't hear. Discipline. Discipline, somebody say. Well, it's a combination, though, but of course, you know, we, um, it helps to be motivated, though, but in the end, though, discipline is what, uh, what will carry you along and, and over the top eventually. I'm not talking about the discipline or the uh, what but somebody else might uh, expect from you towards them. No, it is your own discipline. I mean, you can be motivated like heck, you know, to, I mean, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna lose weight, but then guess what? You keep having that, and no, discipline. You go to the crew bar, very, very motivated when you get there, but only discipline will keep you from drinking too much, right? So discipline is very important, and, uh, so just think about that, all right? Some updates, uh, you probably already know, but we are leaving uh, the Mediterranean here in uh, December 5 and go back to Port Canaveral. And for those of you that have been there for a while, we will uh, do the, uh, not back to San Juan, I think we're gonna visit there as a, as a part of the itinerary, but the, uh, but the home port will be Port Canaveral and we're gonna go down to the to private island again and to Cozumel. Grand Cayman and, uh, and uh, Roatan, in Honduras there. So, and then um, we also have some other ships there going over to, um, to the Far East again. So uh, we have basically ships all over the world, and uh, like I say, when we build more ships, there will be great opportunities for everybody. Uh, there was a uh, fleet uh, suggestion uh, initiative for uh, coming up with different ideas here, and, uh, and this will be uh, informed to you in, uh, in greater detail. I think most of it already have been, uh, been transmitted to you. So, uh, and there are awards involved here. It is to, uh, to give our brand a, uh, a fresh, uh, fresh look, you know, come up with uh, the better physiology and, and all that. Yeah, I will talk about the change of itinerary there. I was a little bit ahead, but there it is, and uh, and, and this will also be uh, uh, you already know it, of course. And we're going to stay there, and, and then we come back to Barcelona again in uh, is it April, April nine, I think it is. We're leaving there, but you can find this on the website as well. To get satisfaction score, um, this is not an easy ship to. Uh, to, uh, to keep at a very high level, but you guys are doing a tremendous job. I mean, it is quite different in layout and in the way it, uh, it is a little bit harder on you, and I, I really understand that, and you have uh, of greatest admiration for what you have done so far, and we are not trending bad at all. We're doing pretty well. This has already been told to you in the departmental breakout meeting. It's an ongoing story, and the uh, and the comment cards uh, and the uh, or the questionnaires that the passengers receive are not as um, as lengthy and uh, and detailed as they used to be. They are much more straightforward now, so uh, that makes it a little bit easier. But but still, get satisfaction score. We are doing quite well, as you can see. And uh, there is not very much to talk about other than this. You can see it for yourself, and this is also shared with you on a regular basis. I'm just going to run them by you here. 
Look at this, pretty good, huh? Not an easy shift to operate, but you're doing pretty well. You really do. And now, uh, we are, next month, I'm gonna do a little bit different, though. Uh, just to give you a, a, a little heads up. Uh, where are you? Yeah, she reminded me about it. Uh, I did it uh, quite a while back, though, when, um, for the vacation heroes. The one that we're building, you know. Uh, I took him up to my office and then we started and we talked a little bit and then they agreed that one of them will make a, uh, a speech. They will come up with, uh, with how they ended up, which is already excited though, because she did a fantastic job last time she did it. How many years ago? She eight years ago. How about that? So we have to redo that. So, uh, so, so next month we're going to do that. Aha. Uh -huh. No, you're going to want to become a vacation hero, right? Because you have to. No, no, it is pretty good, actually. Okay, and here is the Vacation Hero Awards, and uh, Chris will actually take care of that. Thank you so much, guys, and keep up the good work. Thank you, Captain. Everybody, Captain Ila. Okay, you can There you go. Okay, so before you guys go back to work or out to enjoy your... Uh, day of today in Naples, uh, here are the Vacation Hero winners, so if you see your colleagues or yourself, uh, give your colleagues or yourself a big round of applause. We're going to start with the first one, Vacation Heroes, front of the house, Carlo Aloya, burn the floor dance captain. For heart of the house, Segismundo Sese, big round of applause. And... Uh, if you both are here, please come on stage. Oh, how did you appear? You say his name and he appears. Now these are the winners of uh, the month of uh, May. Please put your hands together for Carlo and uh, Segismundo. We have a picture for you guys taken. All right. Wait a second, let's do like this. There you go, Never mind. All right, no? Okay. One more time, Carlo and Segismundo, Vacation Heroes Front and Heart of the House, and uh, top common cards. Here we go, the top common cards uh, earner for month of May are Salvador, for the bartender from bar department, Evira, either from Casino, Leonardo, principal musician, Mark Ann, courtyard ballet, Megan, photographer, Elena, Cruise Next consultant, Enrique, personal trainer, and Marilu, assistant Metro D. Now the service award, very another very important award for the five years award. We have Jon, Engelberg, Christian, Mark, Dinky, and Mariana. If you are here, are you here? Five years service award, yes? Very good. Now we have the 10 year service award. Marian and Randy, congratulations. 10 years in the company, but that's not it. We have more. 15 years in the company, Kent and June. And you think that's it? No, that's not. 20 years award, uh, Elisa, 20 years in the company. Is that it? No. We have a 25 years in the company, our executive housekeeper, Cesar. Congratulations, Cesar, 25 years. You think that's it? Have an amazing day. Right, thank you everybody, have a good one, ciao.